Hello, wonderful students from LEPS. From myself and Opti, thank you for joining all of these story times and thank you for joining the last story time for Term 1. Today's story is Dingo and it's written by the same author as the one who wrote Emu, which we read last week. I love this story. I love the language. It slows me down. It makes me think of how the dingo is moving through the bushland. The other thing I love about this story are the illustrations. They're done in a painterly style. And so it's a big painted artwork. And the dingo is part of the background. So the dingo is almost hidden in the bush or is part of the bush. Dingo by Claire Saxby and Tanya Harricks. Can you see her? There, deep in the stretching shadows, a dingo. Her pointed ears twitch, her tawny eyes flash in the low slung sun. Dingo lifts her head, tastes the air, then uncurls. Five plump pups spill. They are nine weeks old and not long weaned. Around her, the pack still sleeps. She nudges the dozy pups towards her mate and they curl back into sleep. Dingo listens. Dusk is a busy time. Dusk is the time for hunting. Dingo runs softly softly through the forest. She is sure-footed, flexible and fast. Can you see what she sees? Possum climbs too high. Wombat burrows too deep. Lizard is slow in the cool evening. Too slow. Dingo sniffs the air, sniffs the ground, follows the scent she finds there. Can you smell what she smells? In the gully, kangaroos. They are too big for Dingo to catch alone. She travels on. She climbs to the highest point and snuffs into the wind. Rabbits. Dingo runs softly, softly through the forest. Slower, she crouches, watches. Almost before the rabbit sees her, she has it. Dingo carries her prize back to the den. A frenzy of golden pups greets her. The pups are growing fast, ever hungry. One day soon, they will join the hunt, but not tonight. Tonight, they will stay here, safe in their rocky den. After a short rest, Dingo sniffs the air and, with her mate, melts into the night. They run through the forest, close but not together. The night is young and there is hunting to be done. Though you look, you may not see her. Though you listen, you may not hear her. Dingo moves softly softly through the forest. <laughs>